In this video, you will learn useful vocabulary to talk about facial hair. Hi, I'm Steve and welcome to Single Step English. In this lesson, you will learn how to talk about the hair that some people grow on their face. We call this facial hair. The first facial hair vocabulary we are going to learn is this. This is a mustache. He has a mustache. This means a person has hair on their upper lip. You can spell this the American way or in British English with the O. The pronunciation is the same, mustache. Some people have a very long curled mustache. We call this kind of mustache a handlebar mustache. This is because the mustache shape looks like old-fashioned bicycle handlebars. These days, not many people have long handlebar mustaches, but some people do have short handlebar mustaches. What do we call the facial hair that covers most of a face? This is called a beard. His beard covers his face. He has hair on his cheeks, above his lip, and on his chin. For a person that has this kind of beard, you can say he has a full beard. One person that had a beard was former American President Abraham Lincoln. Most Americans see his beard every day on the $5 bill. But maybe the most famous character with a beard is Santa Claus. Santa has a long white beard. How about this style of facial hair? He has a mustache and has hair on his chin, but not on his cheeks. We call this style of a beard a Van Dyke. This is named after a Dutch painter from the 17th century. A variation of the Van Dyke was worn by Colonel Sanders, who created Kentucky Fried Chicken. I once had a Van Dyke. Do you think I should grow a Van Dyke again? What do you think? Write it in the comments below. Another facial hairstyle is a goatee. This is when a person just grows hair on their chin. The hair on his chin reminds us of a goat. So we call this a goatee. How about this facial hair? He has a little patch of hair growing below his lower lip and above his chin. This is called a soul patch. The style became popular in the 1950s and 1960s among jazz musicians. A lot of artists, musicians, and actors wear a soul patch. Some men grow hair down the side of their face. And because there is one on each side of the face, we use the plural form and call them sideburns. Some sideburns are short or trimmed, while other sideburns are quite long. The name sideburns came from an American politician named Ambrose Burnside. Check out his unique facial hair. When sideburns are very long, they are called mutton chops. People thought the long sideburn hair resembled the shape of a mutton chop, which is a butcher cut from an adult sheep. The next topic to talk about regarding facial hair is stubble. This is when a person has some hair on their face that needs to be shaved. For people that do not have a mustache or a beard, they usually shave their stubble daily. 
If women shave their legs, they also get stubble. There are some words people use to describe how stubble feels. For example, if you haven't shaved for a day or two, someone close to you may say your face is scratchy. If I rub my hand on my face, it scratches my hand. To talk about how face stubble looks, if someone has not shaved for a few days, you can use the word scruffy. This describes someone who has not shaved their face or is ungroomed. For example, you look a little scruffy. Yeah, I went camping for a few days. I didn't have time to shave. For someone whose facial hair grows really fast, they may shave in the morning and then by the end of the workday, they look like they need to shave again. We call this a five o'clock shadow. The hair on his face has started to grow back. It looks as though he has a shadow on his face. After a person shaves, we say they are clean shaven. Their face is clean and has just been shaved. It feels smooth. There is no stubble and it does not feel rough. In this lesson, we learned useful vocabulary to talk about facial hair. Do you have a favorite facial hairstyle? Mention it in your comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Hmm, maybe I'll grow a Van Dyke.